Hey y'all, welcome to Diamond and Silk, the podcast where your host Diamond is Silk and Silk all Silk. Diamond all Diamond. Okay, so a lot of stuff has jumped off this week. You know, we had the opportunity to have a real conversation mm-hmm. and I want everyone to take a listen to it. But before we do, mm-hmm. I want y'all to stop right now stop. and make sure you subscribe to this podcast. So each time we drop a new episode, you will receive notification. And don't forget about our book, Uprising. Who the hell said you can't ditch and switch the awakening of Diamond and Silk? You can get the book at diamondandsilkbookstore.com. And if you would like to advertise on this podcast or be a sponsor of this podcast, feel free to send an email to info at diamondandsilk.com. That's info at diamondandsilk.com. And don't forget to go over there and check us out at Chatted. C-H-A-T-D-I-T dot com. Okay, Silk, let's get into the podcast. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, welcome to Diamond and Silk Chit Chat Live with your host Diamond and Silk and Silk O Silk. Diamond O Diamond. Okay, so Silk, things are jumping off. I mean, things are changing rapidly in, in the media circuit. You oh, know yes. what I mean? Yes, it but is. But before yes, I even is. get into the conversation, I want you all to stop right now. And if you have any questions, I need for you to email those questions to Diamond and Silk at Gmail. Dot com. Mm-hmm. That's diamondandsilk at gmail.com. If you all are planning on purchasing any MyPillow products tonight at mypillow.com, I need you to use code TRUMP1 to receive up to 66% off your entire purchase. That's right. Okay. All right. So please, and also make sure you follow us on Chat It. And getter. Mm-hmm. Getter is just like Twitter, but better. Right. It's getter. It's getter. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Sir. So I want to put those little plugs in before I get started. Okay. So listen, go tell your mama, your grandmama, your brother, your sister, your cousin. I don't care whether they black, white, pitch, straight, polka dot, or plaid uh-huh. to come on over here and join the show. That's because right. Because when I'm finding out, Silk, a lot of people don't know what's going on in this country. Oh, a you lot know, of people you know, don't know. Like I was saying a while ago, you got a lot of people, they sitting up, they want to make their money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They want to sit, they want to make their coins, uh-huh. but they don't want to get involved as to what's going on. And you got some people that think everything that's going on is normal. And ain't none of this stuff normal. It's not normal. Ain't none no. of this here stuff normal. No, it's not normal. Ain't none of this stuff normal. Now, I want to say my prayers goes out to New Orleans. You know, that hurricane hit down there. I heard that some some are underwater. Um, It's been downgraded to a tropical storm. So we're praying for everybody. Mm-hmm. I know that we do have our personal assistant. She's down there, but I don't think she's in that area. So we're praying for all of them to keep the same, it, it, even where all of these wild fires are breaking out. Yeah. You know, I, I, look, look oh. okay. If I say what I really feel, uh-huh. somebody will say, Diamond, you being a conspiracy theorist. Uh huh. Uh huh. But do, do you think this here, this, this weather is planned? Do y'all think that this here is something? Planned? Something smell fishy and it ain't too Because I can something. say this here. Look, look, when we was growing up, y'all, back yeah. in the day, I at nighttime, I used to can look up at the sky and see stars and see the stars. I don't see no stars no more. I noticed Mm-mm. that the other night. Mm-mm. Maybe that was a drone, but I ain't seen no stars. So what's what's happening? It's something happening. It is really I it's something that's changing. Uh-huh. Yeah. When you talk about yeah, you know, being born and mm-hmm. growing up. Mm-hmm. It's just some things that's really changing. Mm-hmm. Stuff that we used to see, we don't see that no more. That's uh-huh. right. Okay, y'all. Okay. So we're praying for New Orleans, everybody that's experiencing these fires. We're praying for everybody, you all. We are all in this together and left unless you are going along with these left-leaning liberals with Jim Crow Joe Biden up there mm-hmm. and you think this is normal, then we ain't in it yeah, with you. You, you, you. you gonna fall off the cliff with him. Yeah, you okay? always wonder how you get stuck and stay stuck. That's because you think it's normal. Mm-hmm. That's because you think it's normal. Yeah. So I'm asked the question today, you know, as I was just sitting, observing, looking at everything that's going on. Okay. How did we get here, Silk? How did we How get here? did we get here? Yeah, uh-huh. because when you think about it, Diamond, it feels like we are in a trap house. Oh, okay. It just okay. seems like we've been entrapped uh-huh. into this ball of evil. Come on. Does that help? Come on. It, that's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. They've trapped us into some stuff mm-hmm. and want to move us along. You don't say nothing. You better not post nothing. Mm-hmm. You better not 
think nothing. You better not even try to figure it out. Right. Because right now we're just going to move you along mm-hmm. to entrap you. To entrap you. That's well, what it feels you like know, to me. Um, I thought about it. Okay. And I said, you know, so we get a lot of emails. And sometimes people, they'll send us an email and they'll send us an email because they event about why did President Trump do this? Right. Why did he do that? Mm-hmm. But the one thing I know about President Trump, he tried to warn everyone mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and people did not pay attention. Attention. Uh-huh. Um, I received an email okay. and somebody was like, well, why would Trump surround himself with these people. Let me tell you something. Oh, when you are new to a job that you've never done before, right? Sometimes you got to play uh checkers with the with the with the with the snakes a little bit until you have already mastered how to play 3D chess. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, and what yes. people don't understand, we have the deep uh, state snakes. Yep. You have your rats that's clogging the pipes. Yep. And you have the roaches. That do things in the dark. Yep. But when the lights come on, they Ooh. all scatter. Well, that's what's happening now. <laughs> and that's what we have. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I know I have, you know, a lot of us over here is conservative. And we're asking the question, well, why isn't the Republicans doing anything about it? Well, they could be a roach, yep. a rat, uh, or part of the deep state snake. Or a snake. That's what they could be. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because... You would think that they will be speaking out yep. about what's going on. Yeah. So, and uh, not only speaking out, you know, with, with having access to put forth different things and put forth different measures right. and offset these Democrats. Right. I mean, when I w- just think about it, whenever President Trump was in office, mm-hmm. Democrats fought President Trump. Any type of legislation that was being pushed by the pushed by the Republicans, mm-hmm. they fought them tooth and nail. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. now that the, the 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 shoes are on the other foot, uh, now the Republicans is just sitting back. Why won't they sue? Why won't they fight back? Mm-hmm. You have Jim Crow Joe that went against the Supreme Court justice mm-hmm. uh, when it came down to this uh, uh, moratorium, uh, moratorium mm-hmm. on the uh, evictions mm-hmm. and the landlord and, mm-hmm. and, and the rent and so mm-hmm. forth. And, 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 and Biden knew mm-hmm. that it was wrong, That's right. but he, did it, he anyway. did it anyway. So why, where's my group of Republican going against him against that right. and, and fighting back on that? Nowhere, right. to, be Nowhere found. to be found. Okay. So we got a, we got an email and let me go ahead on and address this. I might as well address this at the top of the hour. Well, so let's y'all, address because it. one thing about diamond and silk, our personalities is like, it may. It, I'm not gonna say it's raunchy, but we just real, and I got to keep it real, authentic. Now I know up. we have some of our Christians over here oh. that don't like me using certain words. Oh, don't like me using certain words. Okay, and I want you all to understand. Listen to me. When I am on the battlefield, when we are on the battlefield, uh huh. I can't fight this enemy. Christian like no not when they throwing this much daggers no not when they trying to take away our freedoms Mm -hmm. not when they talk trying to turn our country Uh into a third world country Country. so there's three words that I like to gravitate to okay okay all right now one of the words Uh uh-huh is mofo mofo now the person that writes in please don't use that word well if you didn't using it how you know what that word means? mean right Hello? And sometimes I may say sugar, honey, iced tea. Uh-huh. But if you take every letter from what I said, that's that spells something. Right. To sort of keep it clean. Right. Now, there's two more words I like to use because they're in the Bible. Okay. Damn and hell. Okay. Both of them are in the Bible. Uh-huh. If you don't get yourself together, hell would you lift your eyes. So, you see what I'm saying? So my thing is, listen, you all, we are in a battle. Yeah. Please do not get offended when I use those three words. And, because, and, it, listen, listen to me, okay? Before I became all about politics, look, I will go off on you and think nothing of it. Yes. And when I'm dealing with these deep state snakes, <clears throat> with these rats that's clogging the pipe, uh-huh. or these roaches, I can't be nice and I can't sing we, uh, uh, who, Jesus on the main line. I, I can't do that with them. Want. Somebody's got to stand up to this tyranny uh-huh. and go off on all of them. Totally because wrong. what they are doing to this country is wrong. That's right. What Biden is doing, you you know, left American citizens over there uh-huh. acting like we can't get them off. Doing this false, uh, false flag uh, event. Uh-huh. Somebody got to call him out. That's right. And I can't call him out being nice. So when I'm on the battlefield, 
I can't fight like this. Right. I can't fight like this. Right. I got to fight. Got to throw some like this. What, what you got? Gotta, what you got? Yeah, gotta put gotta put a shoulder uh, to it. Right. Yeah. Because sometimes I cannot come up with a word to describe them, but yeah, the word mofo. Mofo. You see what I'm well, talking see, about? It could be another word. Mm -hmm. So the deal is, diamond and silk have really cleaned it up a, a lot. They really cleaned it up a lot. Because I when I get be, upset, honey, yeah. everything go out the window. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Right. Because listen, yeah, listen, yeah, and, and, and to my Christian brothers and sisters. And yeah. some of you all that's not used to being in a fight. Uh-huh. We got to fight, y'all. Yeah. So I need you to go but in the kitchen, go in the make kitchen. us a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh -huh. and fix us a glass of milk. So when we come off the battlefield, yeah, we have something to eat. Right. Uh -huh. But it's three words uh -huh. that's gonna come out. Uh -huh. And I don't want you all to get offended or get upset right. about it. Okay. Right. Because they're just words. They're words. They just work. Yeah. You and allow society to tell you that was a bad word. That was word. a bad word. That's right. Because mm -hmm. while y'all sitting there concerned about a bad word you're missing the meat and potatoes mm -hmm. of what's actually going on yeah. here and while you are saying diamond it's not ladylike well i don't think it's american like for these people to be that to have stole an election Fashion. and trying to take down our country that's right i don't think it and i can't sit yeah. i'm so passionate about what i talk about mm -hmm. i can't sit and be like this about it yeah. i got to be like this about it that's you right. done made a list you don't you want to talk about January the sixth? Well, what about November the third? That's right. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, what about so I can't be real nice right. when I'm talking to these people right. that don't care about our country and then sold our country out for thirty pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? It might have been eighty billion. Okay, well, whatever, whatever they got. I'm just that's a medical. So you know that. I love you. I yeah. love you all a lot. We love you. We love you. But you cannot get no. don't get offended by them three words right there because that was going fly. Let me just say this right mm -hmm. here. I remember being in a uh, at, in a school, mm -hmm. and you know I'm short. Sure if y'all don't realize, Silk is short. She okay, is. but there was this tall lurch looking girl. Mm -hmm. She looked at like I call a lurch, mm -hmm. and she I think she was a little jealous of me because I was fine like fine wine that only gets better with time. Well, Silk was pretty back. I was, well, was pretty. I was cute, yeah, yes, I must admit. Mm -hmm. And but I was minding my own business because. Even though I was cute, I was a geek. Right. I was into my book. I was right. like a little bookworm, right. like really technical, right? Right. And so, but she had beef with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's she having beef with me for? Mm -hmm. So she will always try to pick at me. Mm -hmm. She was all just continue to pick at me. Mm -hmm. What I would do is walk away, walk the other way, because I didn't want to get kicked out of school. Mm -hmm. I had to finish up my work. Mm -hmm. So one day, this girl cornered me. And to this particular boss that we were in, she cornered me in this section and she called herself because I mean, cussing me out. And I was like, what was her name? Oh, God. It started with Bonita. Bonita. Mm. I said, Bonita, Bonita. I said, we don't have to do this, girl. It mm. ain't like that. Right. She kept on cussing me out, started hyping up and everybody yeah. else in the class started coming. Up. I'm like, Bonita, girl. We, we don't have to get down like that. Mm -hmm. We can we can calm down and, 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 and take care of this matter mm -hmm. right here if it's mm -hmm. a matter. Right, 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 right. And what happened is she kept on it. And then what I did is I snapped and I started cussing her out from the crown, the way up there at the top, crown of her head to the sole of her, her feet. feet. Mm -hmm. And when I cussed her out, it shocked everybody, they including her. They weren't used to you she doing that like But the deal is I had to meet her where she was at mm -hmm. right. so she can understand the words that was coming out of my mouth. Because when I was sitting there saying, look, girl, we Stop. ain't got to do, do this. this. Yeah. It can be, we can mm -hmm. work this out. You know, because mm -hmm. one thing I am not scared of is the fight. Right. I don't have a problem with kicking your behind. Right. But uh, we, hold on, hold on. But when it came down to being able to meet her where she's at, right. that's what made her re rescind and say, I better leave this little firecracker alone because I may be short, but I will knock mm -hmm. you out. If I have to get up on a chair and knock you out. I would do that. Meet them where they at. You have to meet so them I where they at. So I can't meet the enemy, the left, 
the ones that's trying to destroy this country with 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 with, with Bible, Bible verses. With, with Bible verses. Uh -huh. I got to have a little bit more than the Bible verse uh -huh. to go off on them for what they, they are, are doing. That's and right. that's the problem, Republicans. Yep. That's the Come problem, on. conservatives. Yep. That's the problem, Christians. Yep. You don't say how you feel, and these people don't took over this country. They call they, you names. Yes. They they cuss you out. They get to talk about the election. That's right. They get to talk about the vaccine. Mm -hmm. But then scold you whenever you choose to say your opinion about it. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. And so I had to meet them at. So whenever the instructor called us into the office, right. at the time I was Miss Hardaway, she's like, Miss Hardaway, when they told me what happened, I said, not Miss Hardaway. She said, did that really happen? I said, yes, ma'am, it happened. And so she reached over and she said, well, I understand what you had to do. So the deal is I had to meet this girl mm -hmm. where she was at. Mm -hmm. She was cussing me out. So right. I had to turn around and cuss her out mm -hmm. from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. And I had to take a stand right. and let her say, you don't cross this line. Right, huh? You cross this line, That's I'm going right. to pick up something and knock you the H-E-double-L out. Now. We have to take a stand like that. That's right. And we can't take no stand being quiet. Just in bed. That is the problem, you all. Reading you know, scripture. we've been Republicans since 2015. Uh huh. Okay, so if you don't know, go back and look at our backstory. Go back and look. All right. We've always been conservative, mm -hmm. but we've been Republicans since 2015. And what we notice, Republicans are very quiet. They're very reserved. They don't want to say nothing. And they allow the left to pounce just, on them, pounce on. do whatever they want to mm -hmm. do. And nobody says nothing. nothing. Well, right now you got fighters, baby. Because yeah. yeah. Diamond and Silk is going to say something if something is not, not right. right. And that's the problem. Yep. You allow them to back you up in a corner. Come on. You don't say nothing. Nope. Do you make the you you let them paint you as a racist? Race. As a white uh, supremacist, yeah. and they the one created white supremacy. They the one created all. They the one. The Democrats are the one that created mm -hmm. the KKK. Mm -hmm. They are the one that created Jim Crow. That's and right. And then when they take and throw it back on the Republicans, right now they're creating something else called domestic terrorism. <laughs> they're calling us all, labeling us all uh, these different yeah. doggone words. If you a Trump supporter, uh -huh. if you was a, uh, 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 if you participated. At the uh, uh, pro, uh the thing at the uh, Capitol, uh -huh. um, the people that's in uh, the political who we call the political prisoners that they have locked up. Everything is about them. If you are challenging the election, election. questioning the election, yeah. they got their little target list yep. and they're trying to deem people as terrorists. As terrorists. So what do we do? We just sit back well and just say, hmm, kumbaya. Mm -hmm. What well, I'm gonna need huh. y'all to do is go in that kitchen and make me a peanut butter. Yeah, stuff, just some. Um, because yeah. you know diamond silk we, like to eat. At the rate that we're going, we may need some collard greens and some fat Yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, because I need plenty of energy. Right. This going to take a little time, but I'm going to need some energy to fight fight this dog on demon. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Robin, I love you. I got the email. I see it. She can't believe I read something. She's giggling. I love you. But I, I just want y'all to understand my personality. It's not like I'm just deliberately trying to just. No. That's not my MO. No. But you all, I get upset. Look at what. But, Okay, so okay. let's get into the let's show. Let's get bro. on it. Oh, because I can read people for film. Yeah, but look, I, I see your questions coming in. And but now, get if you are holier than thou mm -hmm. and you don't want to accept the truth and the truth that way that Diamond and Silk are saying it, then what you do is you go to the back, Becky. Y'all mm -hmm. go to the back mm -hmm. and y'all sit there and pray for Diamond and Silk. Right. That's but what for do. the ones that don't have a problem with us being on a battlefield, mm -hmm. trying to save this country from this evil spirit. It's an evil that's going spirit. on. If I came in here, right. in here uh -huh. then y'all come on in here and yeah. let's get this. Uh -huh. Y'all know started. I got my three words. Yeah. I've I, 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 narrowed it down to three words. Uh huh. Because, honey, I can go all, yeah. all day and all night. And instead of using ass, I'll say donkey. That's right. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Because that's in a Bible. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, there's a lot of false flags happening. Yeah. And I don't think people know. And when you're listening to people and listen to what they believe in their ideology, mm -hmm. they so into making their money. They don't even know how they have become the creator of their own demise. Yes. The one thing I like about President Trump, he tried to tell people. He tried to warn people in his own way. Mm -hmm. With him being a president, he just couldn't come out and make everything verbatim, this, this, and that. Right. Because the media. The media is a very powerful tool. Yep. Look at the misinformation that we're being fed right now from the who media. media. Look at 
how they're talking about January the 6th, but they ain't talking about November 3rd, 2020. Right. Look at how they're talking about the people that walked up in the Capitol or was let in the Capitol, uh -huh. but they're not talking about all of the destruction that happened in the summer of 2020. Uh -huh. The media, look yeah. at how the media is not holding Biden accountable. Yeah. They allow him to get away Dang. with things. How did we get here? How? Have we always been here mm. and all of a sudden because of President Trump, our eyes just flew open like, oh, this is what's been happening. Right. Uh -huh. I think it's been a drip drip. Mm -hmm. A drip drip. Mm -hmm. And what happened is President Trump, when he came along, mm -hmm. they weren't looking for him to win. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, but what he did is he, he opened up mm -hmm. our eyes mm -hmm. to seeing the drip drip, mm -hmm. the drip drip. Mm -hmm. And he won in no, November the 3rd, right. 2020. That's right. But they made sure he didn't win because they got to take and put forth their agenda. Right. Okay. And so now what I'm thinking is happening right now, it was done so cleverly with President Trump that he's like, let me pull back mm -hmm. and let the American people see it mm -hmm. for what it is. And that's now why you have people coming forward saying, I voted for Biden, but I regret that right. I voted for Biden. Well, we need well, okay, okay, let's talk about the, the, the Biden vote. Okay. I cannot believe y'all didn't see this coming. This Biden character has been in office for what, 48, 49 years, been in government. He ain't never, never done, done nothing. nothing. Did you think he were going to do anything? Every bill he pushed was against an American. Uh, I and I don't want to be upset with the Biden voters, but sometimes I be feeling like, you know what, you get what you deserve. Mm. Oh, you can't get no gas? Well, that's your problem. That's your problem. And I don't want to hurt my heart like that. Right. See, I need my Christians to pray for me because I don't want my heart to harden towards these people. Yeah. That went along with this here foolery. Well, right. When That's you right. don't stand up for what's right. Mm -hmm. When you know that they're doing something under your noses uh -huh. and you don't stand up. Yeah. Right. How did my heart be hardened towards yeah. you? Yeah. Because I'm yeah. for what's right. Yeah, because even right now, mm -hmm. you should know for the simple fact there's other avenues mm -hmm. for you to find these things out. Right. But you got to get off of your hind parts and go do your own research and stop you listening to the left-wing media yeah including uh you know what the one that uh okay mm -hmm, i don't want to say their name on here but listen y'all so president Trump, yeah, <laughs> the, not the communists but the oh, other oh, one oh, talking okay. about they fair and balanced yeah, yeah they fair and balanced but i saw what happened over there uh, uh on november the third yep. and what they did yep. they started the catalyst yeah. for that for the downfall, the spiraling yep. of that. And I'll never, never. forgive them for that. Because I sat there involved. and I watched it. That's right. Everybody that was involved. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. So with everything that's happening in Afghanistan, you know, President Trump put out a view. I mean, this says it all. A video uh -huh. that just uh, listen, he just stumped Biden is what he did. Wow. I uh, Logan. Logan. What clip one. is that? Clip Play one. clip one for us. America is back. The highest inflation rate in the United States. The southern border is collapsing. The climate of COVID infections. We amplify our power. We summon the new strength. This is a recruitment Should ad. Should we be embarrassed? Diplomacy <laughs> is back. Now the Taliban are back. Kabul is not in an imminent threat environment. The likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. They own the whole country now, the Taliban. The Taliban are now in complete control of Afghanistan. Complete chaos. How did President Biden get this so wrong? Well, first of all, the mission hasn't failed yet. If this isn't failure, what does failure look like exactly? Biden, you destroyed not Afghanistan, but the world! I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. <laughs> Do I bear responsibility? Zero responsibility. China is ready for friendly relations with the Taliban. The lightning the door out there and the Taliban out there are going to come and kill us. Cut out, everybody. <laughs> we have to ask the Taliban for permission for American citizens to leave. True or not true? They, they are in control. I can't uh, think of anyone better to lead this operation than... than uh, just chanting death to America. Call yourself the president. Okay, y'all. So y'all, what he put out, it, 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 it just points out yeah. how this man is destroying America, destroying America where we look weak around the world. And what, it's only been eight months. 
It's only been eight months. I mean, destruction. Uh -huh. It's only been eight months. Yeah. Nebraska mom said, please don't change anything about how you present information. I love you too because you are real. Oh, yeah. Your personalities is what make you so on target. Oh, thank you. Keep on doing what you are doing. I'm a Christian, but you have to be real. real. Thank yeah. you both for what you are doing to help our country. Y'all, thank, thank y'all for sending in these here questions. Yeah. I want to make sure that I get to these here now and you're just not sending in questions question hey girls you girls look great every night i love watching and listening to you all you do a great job okay thank you tom listen i need y'all to send in my and some questions for me okay oh, oh if they're coming in okay so we'll get one so you see the video that president trump put out because he warned us when he was in office right now he's showing you now it's time for people to wake up so right. when i hear people with what's happening in afghanistan and i hear people say oh well and you got people siding with biden biden lied and people died most definitely you see what yep. i'm talking about yep. you got people siding with biden like what he did was okay now let me just say this we've been over there for what 20 years uh-huh yeah right but there <laughs> is a way that you do things yeah yeah it was time for us to come home but you don't take and pull out our military uh -huh. leave the american people over there leave contract workers over there and the people that helped us over there and now you have a mess and when i look at the taliban were they deep state snakes uh, were they the rats clogging clog the pipe? Mm, were there, was there a shadow government? Mm -hmm. Now, let me flip it back to when Trump was in office. Okay. I'm beginning to wonder. I can have an opinion. Can you I have an opinion? Was it a shadow government when Trump was in office? Mm. See, I'm looking at yeah. all of this here. Yeah. Everything that Harry. he tried to do, he was undermined. Yeah. And come on about you had Harry. Harry flying over there, meeting with different people mm -hmm. and, and, and different things. Mm -hmm. And you know who else I also fought? Who? I fought Congress. Mm. Because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. 20 years, 20 years, and you couldn't find the enemy. Right. Okay. Right. But uh -huh. in a day, you can find two people. Come on. Come uh -huh. on. Come on. I mean, so you say. Uh -huh. So you say. And, and if our military, we have intelligence, how did the Taliban get in that country? Unless uh -huh. whoever's orchestrating this here. This is what you call, what I call a false flag. You deliberately yeah. doing this here. Yeah. Now, I heard that a drone was shot over there. Because I guess Biden want to make like he doing he something. He want to act like he done done uh -huh. something. And I think it killed the family and some church. Some civilians. Some civilians. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. But listen, look, you all, look, This look. is the. If this was Trump in office, oh, still, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Over $80 billion mm -hmm. in weaponry. Mm. Eighty billion dollars in referee, mm -hmm. and then you gonna take and tuck your tail between your legs and just walk away and mm -hmm. say okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if this was President Donald J. Trump, come on, come on, honey. Come well, on. first he would have never did this, but he will be calling the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, mm -hmm. and the Marines. Uh -huh. We would go get you know what? Billion dollars he would have drove them Taliban's back up in the mountain uh -huh. and blew that whole mountain. Yeah. It would have been not the mother of all bombs. It would have been the father, the father of all bombs. That's I right. mean, look, listen yeah. to me. But you got this moron uh -huh. up here. I'm going to try not to use mofo because some of the Christians sitting in the back or uh, back there making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich don't want me to use it. So I'm going to try not to use the word mo mofo. I use the word moron. You got this moron sitting uh -huh. up here and he acted like he having a clue. And then when our military was, our men was coming back because they're deceased, he had the nerves to look down at his watch. Mm. Now, somebody said he was fixing his clothes. Uh -huh. I kept watching it and watching but, it. But this is what happened whenever he went to move from a stance. When he went to move from a stance, that's when he looked down at mm. his watch. Like, well, like yeah. you're supposed to be running the country. Right. So you're supposed to have time. Yes. What, what was you looking at your watch? Because you wanted to go get ice cream. Mm. You, you was ready to go back in the basement and hide like a coward.
what? No, no, the light. The, okay, so what was probably happening is the light was going down, mm. and you know how the uh, bats and Dr Dracula have to be back in their casket mm -hmm. because that's what he reminded me of. Mm. The way he dragged along, the way he's just paled, and the way that he moved, mm -hmm. he reminds me of the walking well, dead. Well, you know what? He's a puppet. Yes. And somebody is pulling the string. Yes. So I want to know, is it the deep state snakes? Yes. Is it the rats that's clogging the pipe? Yes. Or is it the roaches that's scattering once the lights come on? Mm -hmm. I need to know who's running this shit. Who? Now, I want y'all to understand that I, what Biden has done, in my humble opinion, his administration and these generals, these people done committed treason. Straight up. Now, let me tell you what treason. Okay. According to Article 3, Section 3 of the Constitution, any person who levies war against the United States or adheres to its enemies mm -hmm. by giving them aid and comfort has committed treason within the meaning of the Constitution. Mm. The term aid and comfort refers to any act that manifests a betrayal of allegiance to the United States, such as furnishing enemies with arms, troops, transportation, shelter, or classified information. Did they give what them our the, weaponry? Can I, can I Did they that? give them a list of Americans that were still in the country? Yeah. Did they not do that? That that to me is straight treason. Okay, okay. Mm. Any person who levies war against the United States mm. or adheres mm -hmm. to its enemy by giving them aid mm -hmm. and comfort right. has committed treason mm -hmm. within the meaning of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look at how our military, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. you got people that's going underground mm -hmm. to go save people. Our veterans. Our veterans. Uh -huh. that's, our, our veterans. Yes. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. To go and save people. But a lot of them is being told to stand down. Well, well, because, well, 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 who going to stand up? I need somebody yeah. to stand up. Yeah. Who going to stand up? Yeah, 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 yeah. And see, when you giving the enemy, mm. okay, when you saying to me, to the American people that you're negotiating with them, or you're talking to the Taliban, that's what he said. That's, he's, come, he's on, come, to on, the Taliban. come on, come on, come on. You're negotiating with the enemy. You're partnering up that's right. with the enemy, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. So these people that wants to wish death on Americans, mm -hmm. how are you okay with partnering up with them? And if you partnering up with evil, come on, you know they say a bird and a feather flop together. Uh -huh. What does that make you, uh -huh. Jim Crow Joe? So, so did they? So, my question, Sil. Uh huh. I can have a question. Yeah, we can have. Did a question. they just hand this country it, over to the Taliban? Well, when you look at uh -huh. all of the connection, and you connect the the dot, uh huh, it looks obvious yes. to me uh -huh. that that's what happened uh -huh. because I see no remorse, right? For the dead. Uh -uh. I see no remorse. No, he with, just walking around. And when I see people on his side, uh -huh. are you crazy? Uh-huh. You are you got to be ignorant. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when I see how our borders are wide open, mm -hmm. they want to talk about a humanitarian crisis. The humanitarian crisis is happening with the American people. That's right. Because you're taking and bringing these people in here on American citizens. Right. At the, on the backs and on the dimes of American citizens. And what you're doing is, is, is you are threatening. Our lives are being threatened. Yeah, by placing them in communities. Yeah, we and don't, we don't know, know who these who people are. are. What type of diseases they have. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to talk about we're in the middle of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want people to go from one restaurant to the next, from one state to the next, but you allow these people to come from one country to this one. Yes. Yes. You won't even, and you want mm -hmm. American citizens mm -hmm. to get the jab, 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 jab. Mm -hmm. But then what about all of these people that's coming over here? How many needles have you put in their arms? Right. How many? Now, we know that Afghan people are going to be coming over here because these are the people that help the United States of America. Uh -huh. Because I heard that the Taliban is going door to door. It's being alleged. And they just uh, assassinating people. Okay. But here's the deal. What's these people need to be vetted because what we cannot allow is people from different ideologies, different countries to come in here. And now, now it's beef because, oh, you don't believe the way I believe. You don't just, okay, still, come on, because she about to, okay. Still, okay, come on. 
before any Afghan that's right come over here to America right all American lives should be saved that's right. from Afghanistan that's right period that's right no, that's right Americans should be first first they should have been the first ones out of there that's and right. I think today is the end I think this is the last time that they're going to go over there. It's either today well, or tomorrow. Well, yeah, they got today as the end. Uh -huh. But then the what about it, the ones that's already left that's, over there? And then you want to tell us our veterans can't, can't rescue them. Mm -hmm. Listen, according to the New York Post, a group of highly trained U.S. military veterans has been secretly rescuing hundreds of allied operatives yep. from Afghanistan. So I don't know why they're telling them to stand down. And here's another thing. Let me tell you something about the military. I know that some of them want to be woke mm -hmm. and some are worried about white rage yep. and all this kind of foolishness, right? But you have conservative men in the military that's like, wait a minute. I done took my behind over there. Yep. I done fought for people's freedoms. Yep. I'd be doggone if I'm going to lose my freedom in this country. Yep. And so they standing up. What are we supposed to, to do? do? Okay, they took an oath. to uphold the Constitution. They took an oath, now, honey. It, since we got a, a, a ignorant, demented, demonic uh, 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 up there, a uh, 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 squatter and thief uh -huh. running things, because well, well, he can't get it together. Uh -huh. He can't get it together when it comes to the State Department. I, I guess this is just my own opinion. Uh -huh. I'll say allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, uh, who go? Who go? Who go rescue? The American people, who you know, because we yeah. we, we have a military. Yeah. Right, because see, you've been making deals with the Taliban. Mm -hmm. How you said that you've been talking to them and right. negotiating. You didn't negotiate on American lives, right. Being removed from right. over there, right? You right. Didn't negotiate. You didn't negotiate that. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, and and you and you leave our American citizens there to mm -hmm. perish. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's something wrong. Something here. is wrong. Somebody have something. Hey, Diamond yeah. and Silk. Uh, and listen, y'all, and tell me where you're from. Her name is Ju. Is it Julie's? A Ju J U L E S. Okay. Okay. She said, "Hey, Diamond." So, one thing I think we need to find out is when Biden signed for the pull out of Afghanistan, did Eva Harris sign as well? <sighs> America needs both of these people out of office. Both should be charged with treason, right? Absolutely. Now, here is what I heard: it's being alleged that when Biden made the final decision. Kamala was right there with him. with him. And what I don't understand with Kamala being a woman, being a minority, being a black woman, because ever since, you know, now they call her black. Uh, uh, before she, all of this here, she was a, she was something else, but now they, they say she's black. Mm -hmm. So I respect this, like we have to be, uh, I'll respect whatever. Mm -hmm. But, but, but uh, you would think she would be like, wait, Joe, you don't want to just pull out our military, leave American people, leave these people over uh, here, no. and these people going to be assassinated or their heads may be chopped off. No. But she in it with him, Kamala, as far as I'm concerned. Kamala is part of the plan. That's right. Because at the end of the day, all of this stuff going to be left at her door. That's right. Her doorstep. Mm -hmm. They're going to blame the person of color mm -hmm. and going to leave that, that legacy mm -hmm. on them. Watch what I tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody else got, Grace got a great question. Uh -huh. My question is, why in the world can we track a package from Amazon from start to finish uh -huh. with great detail of where it is at, when it got there, and a picture of it when it's delivered to my front Come door on. or mailbox, but you, but yet, we cannot find a way to track our own votes from the time we cast it Hi. to the time it's counted because it's a false flag. Yep. They, they deliberately do things. Delib they deliberately put things in place. You yep. know, can I just say this here? Yep. We wouldn't even talk about the election. But I heard that all of a sudden the left is going to start saying when it comes to the Arizona audit, they may start saying, well, oh, this was a partisan effort. It wasn't bipartisan because the Democrats didn't participate. Well, I heard that it's being alleged the Democrats didn't want to participate. Uh -huh. But you see how the left wing media harp on that and make it look like, well, we can't do nothing well, about this because you didn't include Democrats when the Democrats didn't want, it's been alleged they didn't want to be included. Well, let's look at this partisan effort to steal this election. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the partisan effort for the ones counting the votes mm -hmm. and you try to kick out the Republicans. Mm -hmm. That was partisan. That's right. That's right. You That's know? right. That's right. So you, it's, it's so much to talk about. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's a video that we want to play. We surely do. Uh -huh. Is this the one with the Marines? Yes. Okay. Is this the one where the Marine had to go ahead on and call out the generals? Yes. All right, y'all. I want y'all to take a look at this here. Clip go two. ahead and play it, Logan. Clip two. Good evening. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Stu Scheller, United States Marine Corps. I'm the current battalion commander for Advanced Infantry Training Battalion. 
I've been in the Marine Infantry for 17 years. Started my tour with Victor 1-8, it's the current unit that's doing perimeter security, dealing with the mess that's going on there. I, you can see open source reporting that there was an explosion and some people were killed. I know through my inside channels that one of those people that were killed was a someone that I have a personal relationship with. We won't go into more details because the families are still being notified. Not making this video because um, it's you know potentially an emotional time, making it because I have a growing discontent and contempt for my perceived ineptitude at the foreign policy level, and I want to specifically ask some questions to some of my senior leaders. And I'll say, as a person that's not at 20 years, um, I feel like I have a lot to lose. If you play chess, you can only see two to three moves out because there's too many variables. I thought through if, if I post this video, what might happen to me, especially if the video picks up traction, if I have the courage to post it. But I think what you believe in can only be defined by what you're willing to risk. So if I'm willing to risk my current battalion commander seat, my retirement, my family's stability to say some of the things that I want to say, I think it gives me some moral high ground to demand the same honesty, integrity, accountability from my senior leaders. And so I want to start with, we'll just use the Marine Corps, my, we'll just stick with the Marine Corps. So in the current fallout of Afghanistan, a lot of Marines were posting on social media and in response to that, the Commandant published a letter, which is the service chief of the Marine Corps, and I want to read from it. It was dated 18 August, so only a week ago. The Commandant, sir, you wrote, some of you may be struggling with a simple question, was it all worth it? We want you to know that your service is meaningful, powerful, and important. You fought for the Marine to your left and the Marine to your right. You never let them down. And then you go on to say that you know, if we're, we're struggling, we should, we should seek counseling, which, you know, I get it. People have killed people. Um, I've killed people and I, and I seek counseling um, and that's fine. There's a time and place for that. But the reason people are so upset on social media right now is not because the Marine on the battlefield let someone down. That service member has always rose to the occasion and done extraordinary things. People are upset because their senior leaders let them down and none of them are raising their hands and accepting accountability or saying, we messed this up. If an 05 battalion commander has uh, the simplest live fire incident EO complaint, boom, fired. But we have a Secretary of Defense that testified to Congress in May that the Afghan National Security Force could withstand the Taliban advance. We have chairmen of Joint Chief, who the Commandant is a member of that, who's supposed to advise on military policy. We have a Marine combatant commander. All of these people are supposed to advise. And I'm not saying we've got to be in, the, in Afghanistan forever, but I am saying... Did any of you throw your rank on the table and say, hey, it's a bad idea to evacuate Bagram Airfield, the strategic air barriers, before we evacuate everyone? Did anyone do that? And when you didn't think to do that, did anyone raise their hand and say, we completely messed this up? I've got battalion commander friends right now that are posting similar things, and they're saying, you know, wondering if it, all the lives were lost and, and if it was in vain, all those, all those people that we've lost over the last you know, 20 years. And he goes on to say that we're all part of a chain. While every link may not be tested, the strength of the chain is only as strong as each link, and you got to be, you know, good link, something like that. And what I'll say is, and from my position, potentially all those people did die in vain if we don't have senior leaders that own up and and raise their hand and say we did not do this well in the end. Without that, we just keep repeating the same mistakes, this amalgamation of the economic slash corporate slash political slash higher military ranks are not holding up their end of the bargain. I want to say this very strongly. I have been fighting for 17 years. I am willing to throw it all away to say to my senior leaders, I demand accountability. You know what, Silk? Sometimes yeah. you got to be willing to risk it all. Risk it all. Because if they don't take it all, you got to be willing to risk, risk it, it all. all. Stand 
stand up and call people out. Yep. Call these generals out. Yep. Call this administration out. Yep. For what they did. They put these people in harm's way. That's right. Deliberately is yeah. what they did. Yeah. They did it. And they did I, it. I, and one, another thing, he's been fighting there for 17 years. A lot of these people have just got into these other position mm. here in the Biden regime within eight months. Mm. So this guy here, he knows proper protocol. Right. He knows what, and, and they, I think they relieve him of his duties. You yeah. all, he won't get to retire. Whatever this man is doing, we have to support him as patriots. Right. But because and, these are the people that's got to stand up and call stuff out. But see, to me, he's like a whistleblower. Mm. Okay. So how are you going to fire him? All right. Oh, that's yeah, right. He's like a whistleblower mm -hmm. to me. Okay. It's so much underhanded, undercover stuff that's going on that don't make sense. Them just even trying to censor your voice for talking about an election that you participated in. Right, right. It don't make sense. Right. So I'm glad that he came out. Right. I'm th thank you for talking about the us uh, bringing up the election. Make sure you go over there and visit mypillow.com. Yeah. Use code Trump one that's right to receive up to 66 percent off your entire purchase so do that over there at mypillow.com now we have a question from wendy from canada okay wendy thank you all for giving me where you stay at okay hey diamond and silk do you ladies believe that what happened in afghanistan was not an accident but completely planned by biden's handlers and planned out exactly as they planned like biden said they are doing this for a destruction of the U.S. and the West to usher in communism and the CCP ruling overall. Thank you so much for bringing us the truth. Love you both. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah girl. They want to keep us on edge, keep us in fear. Mm -hmm. So when you, you see bombs and stuff going out mm -hmm. and everybody nerves is shaking, they want to have that same stuff right. right here in America. I call it subliminal messages. Yeah. Subliminal messaging. Uh -huh. Because if you see something long enough, you start to believe it. Right. If you hear something long enough, you start to believe it. Right. They put this stuff in the news and they make it so graphic. Yeah. And, and, and we don't became so desensitized yep. to what's happening. We don't even realize, whoa, these are dead people that's being, that's being slaughtered because they want to get you used to it. So when right. they jump off here in right America, here and you now, oh, well, you think it's normal. You just walking this is over why there, you all that siding with Biden. You going to have to wake the so and so and up. Uh -huh. I said so and so on cuz I don't want my Christian friends to be upset if I say the word. That's you going to have to wake the so and so and up because here is the deal. Uh -huh, here. Uh -huh. Listen, that can happen right here. What if it was happening to you? Right. Would you want somebody to say, "Oh well. Oh well. Oh well, take care of America first." Let me tell you something. If you don't have a strong leader, America ain't going to be taken care no. of. Uh -huh. I don't feel safe in this country. No. While you all sitting up making your paper, uh -huh. doing other things, like uh -huh. you don't see what's going on, hmm. it's going to creep tiptoe right up on you. Yep. Then what you going to do? Yep. Then yep. what you going to do? And that seems like it's a form of treason as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just leaving our Americans behind. That's so right. now, from my understanding, isn't that considered a high crime? How well, high crimes and misdemeanors? I don't yeah, know. That, that seems, cause treason is considered a high crime. Mm -hmm. So Biden, there shouldn't be no problem with them impeaching Biden mm -hmm. if they're going to call themselves trying to impeach Listen. President Trump over a phone call. Right. Well, Biden, Biden, he should know that he done messed up. Yeah. Him and his whole administration need to step the so and so and down. Yeah. Because they done messed up. Don't nobody trust you. And what we need is more people to see this. And did he get permission from Congress? Did he go through Congress? See, I don't know if he went through Congress. He didn't. I don't think he. I don't believe that he went. They try Congress. to push President Trump. He had to go through all of these little hoops. Yeah. Just to get stuff there. That's right. He, it's like he had to ask. They wanted him to ask for permission mm -hmm. before he even did whatever he needed to do for this country. Right. And so I want to know that Biden. Who else did he consult? Well, I know Kamala was in the room for what I heard. Well, it is being alleged that she was in the room. Now, I don't know if he consulted with the State Department. I don't know if he consulted with the military complex. I don't know who planned and what. And, and, and somebody mentioned China. See, I heard it's being alleged uh -huh. that China got their hands somewhere in there with the Taliban. Yes. Like China, yeah. this reminds me of what we read about the days of Hitler. That's but Hitler right. started going to different countries uh -huh. trying to take, to take over, over until he was stopped. And then okay. who have our debt? Mm -hmm. As right. they continue to run up our deficit with all of these trillions mm -hmm. and trillions of dollars, uh -huh. who holds our debt? China, China does. And so now I heard that there was some mineral 
in the mountain mm -hmm. that somebody is after. Mm -hmm. What the, uh -huh. the minerals? The minerals. Well, uh -huh. and here's the deal. Uh, now yeah. it's been alleged that they want the minerals, but they don't want you taking no minerals to make sure that you, your, your body's your health. Yeah. yeah. You all make sure you tune yeah. in tomorrow night because we're gonna have Dr. Simone go. Yeah. I see questions coming in about uh COVID, uh -huh. and we're gonna uh talk to her tomorrow. So let me move the story along. Okay. So there was this uh, uh, a mother of a Marine that was killed, a, ba a baby, yeah, 20 years old. Was I'm old enough to be that child's mom. Uh -huh. uh, her son was killed in Afghanistan. I don't know if she called into a radio uh -huh. station, but listen to what she had to say. Logan, play clip three for us. I'm going to take this call. I'm going to start with calls here. Kathy, Colorado, you're on the Will Count Majority. Hello. Hey, my son was one of the Marines that died yesterday. Your I had to son? listen to that. Sorry, I'm on the radio. No, 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 no. Um, go, go my ahead. son uh, was one of the Marines that died yesterday. 20 years and six months old, getting ready to come home from freaking Jordan to be with his wife to watch the birth of his son. And that feckless, dementia-ridden piece of crap just sent my son to die. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning to Marines at my door telling me my son was dead. So, to have her on right before me and listen to that piece of crap talk about diplomatic crap with freaking Taliban terrorists who just freaking blew up my son and no, nothing, to not say anything about, oh my God, I'm so sorry for the family. So my son is gone, and I just want all you Democrats who cheated in the election or who voted for him legitimately, you just killed my son. With a dementia-ridden piece of crap who doesn't even know he's in the White House, he still thinks he's a senator. So, I'm going to try and calm down, I'm sorry. No, you look. I, I, I take I, I take this call with due trust here. I don't. I would hope nobody would uh, call up and and say if this wasn't true. I I, just I can't just imagine what. House. A marine just left my house two minutes ago, getting my divorce decree. A marine, two marines showed up my house at four o'clock in the morning to tell me my son was dead. So. My name is Kathy McCollum. My son was Wiley James McCollum. You can check it out. Um, his wife, I, she might not want me to say her name. Um, they just got married on February 14th and are expecting a baby on on uh, September 26th. You know what? Uh, see, this, uh, and y'all tell me not to cut. Yeah, cut nobody no else. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't fault her for being upset. I don't Because either. this could have been avoided. That's but right. people make decisions and the right decision when it comes to the lives of our military, of our military personnel, yep. of American citizens. That's right. But didn't nobody make the right decision. Because uh. you got demented Joe sitting up there being demented. Straight Looking up. at his watch, uh -huh. like he got somewhere to go. Uh -huh. Maybe he was going to eat ice cream. I don't no, know. Back to the so this here, this here mother, she has every right. right. And for you all that participated and you orchestrated. Mm. And what happened on November the 3rd. Yep. You know who I'm talking to. These you are know who I'm talking about. Yep. This is what you got to deal with. Yep. Now you sitting somewhere with your ignorant so and so uh -huh. Sitting somewhere upset. I'm saying so and so and because I don't want my Christian brothers and sisters to be mad about you can say, But you I can like how she went on and she went the heck off on that radio. Yes, 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 yes. I love how she did it. Yeah. Enough I is mean, enough. enough is and you know what? They've been doing this mess. That's and listen, right. I know some of you all may love Bush. We had no business, business. in Iraq. No business. There was no weapons of mass destruction. Yep. I remember when they killed Saddam Hussein. Uh -huh. Yes, he was a dictator. Uh -huh. But somebody going to reap what they, they sow. sow. Well, look at this dictator we got over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right up there in the White House. Dick Cheney and them, yep. it's been a last that they done made a lot of money. A lot of money. And see, these people, they make a lot of money when you're at war. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't surprise me if after all of this is over, we find ourselves back, back in the there same place in war where we started. They got the weapons. They got all of our weapons. Fight. 80 million pieces of our weapons. Dollars of our weapons. 
weaponry, okay? So they can use, use it against, against us. American people. They can use the intelligence against us. Uh-huh. You see what I'm you see what kind of foolishness. And yeah. and you say these right. diamond, oh it's not lady like well, I don't um, think it's American like the Levi weaponry over there. Over there. And you didn't know no better than to do that. American citizens over there. This they is the women never, and let different me tell things. You something. This is crazy. I've lived under Republicans and Democrats. Yeah. But this right here, this more fault. This is uh, a dictatorship right here. This is this straight is the worst. communism. This is the worst this right here. This is straight communism. This is it's the worst. no more about Republicans or no, Democrats. No, no. Because you also, and freedom. that's right. You would think every every Republican every, but, uh, and even no. Democrats like, oh, what you doing, Biden? Yeah. This is wrong. No. And you need to step down. You and Kamala. Because Kamala's sitting somewhere laughing because she think everything's a joke. Yeah. She think everything's a joke. Yep. And this is not, not the time to be joking when people are losing their lives. Listen, people are playing politics yep. and people are dying because of it. Yep. And nobody seems to care. And what I need for people to do is to wake up. Yep. Wake up. Wake it Stop up. Stop being so concerned about a Cardi B or that fat girl. What's her name? They call her Lizard Lizzo, or whatever her name is, and yep. all these other people. Yeah. Okay. Stop being so concerned about what they're doing on the entertainment TV and entertain yourself with what's happening in this country, country. that can affect or impact you or yep. a family member. Yep. That's what, that's, 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 that's what needs to happen. That's what needs to happen. And you all, I am pissed off with this administration because I believe that we still have Americans left over there in Afghanistan. Yes. And somebody sent a video where I think that they're going house to house. I couldn't verify the video so we couldn't play it. And they're just randomly shooting people. I'm hearing over that. there. I'm and hearing it's being alleged. I'll that's, say it like that. Talking to people yeah. over there. Um, all we can say is alleged because nobody's called and talked. Uh -huh, it's being but alleged. This is what people are Bodies saying. are being mutilated. mutilated. And, and, and you burned, and, uh, burnt alive. Yeah, I was looking at a fool today. I can call you a fool because a fool is in the dictionary. Uh -huh. Unless my Christian brothers and sisters may get well, that. Fool but I was looking at too. a fool. Well, I, I'm sorry for those people over there, but we got to help. We got to we, we got to help what's in this country. Look, we what? got Americans in that country. Right. Today is them. Tomorrow it, it can, can be, be you. you. But you're so worried about making your little five thousand dollars for a show. Uh -huh. You're not even worried about our American citizens over there. Right. Oh. See, these are the people that looks the other way. They don't have a clue. They vote against their own interests. Interest. They are the creators of their own demise. Yeah. That's why you can sit up and you can say some dumb. You see what I'm talking Sugar, about? Sugar, honey, iced tea. That's right. About I, this here. I saved it. Thank right, you. I saved Thank it. you. Thank you. And enough is enough. Yes. I need when we come on, you tell your mama, your daddy, your cousin, yep. your brothers, your sisters. Yeah. Tell them all. I don't care if they black, white, pinstripe, polka dot, or plaid. Right. It's a we lot of people. That's right. That don't know there is something going on. Yeah. And listen. Yep. Yeah. This is a distraction what's happening in Afghanistan. Yeah. Because we ticked off. But I need you all to pay attention. Yep. False flags. They are real. Yeah. Because they're going to do something. Oh, it's Something going to no jump fault. off right here in this country. That's why you got to get, get your peace. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Yes. I can feel what's about to happen. Oh, yes. You see what I'm talking about? I see exactly. So, listen, let me run it down. Make sure you all join us tomorrow night. We're going to be talking to Dr. Simone Go. Yes. If you know anybody that's been vaccinated, that haven't been vaccinated, that don't know what to think, Listen, at the end of the day, yeah. we got to help each other yeah. out. You have people that have, now they have vaccination re remorse because they, they are remorseful for mm -hmm. getting the vaccine. Well, we want you all to make sure you join us on tomorrow night, yeah. uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock PM Central. Tell everybody, even if they from the hood, yep. still tell them to come on over, come here, on over here so that you all can hear what the doctor have to say about that okay yeah also make sure you go to mypillow.com oh yeah use code trump one to receive up to 66 percent off your entire purchase mm -hmm. patronize mike lindale he's out there on the battlefield yeah hey i got some of you all in the kitchen making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or in the back uh -huh. but he's on the battlefield yep. and if you can't make a sandwich go visit mypillow.com that's right use trump one uh -huh. and receive up to 66 percent off your entire purchase don't forget to follow us on social media called chat it c-h-a-t-d-i-t.com and get her
G-E-T-T-R.com. Getter is like a new Twitter. Right. And it's conservative, and I love it. That's also, right. Also, don't forget to visit our store, diamondandsilkstore.com, where we have coffee cups, wine glasses, tumblers, and we also have the best of Diamond and Silk video. I did see an email to come in. They want to know where we came from. Honey, we've been on the scene since 2015. Oh. They tried to silence us. They called the stains, but it didn't work. I and was about to say we came from my mama. That's right. But listen, and also, don't forget about our book, Uprising. Who the hell said you can't ditch and switch the awakening uh -huh. of Diamond and Silk? If you go to mystore.com, you'll receive a promo code TRUMP1, 30% off the book. Okay, I made all of the announcements. We made all of Oh, and don't forget to pray. Every day at 11.21 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we stop what we're doing and we say a prayer. We say a prayer for President Donald J. Trump. That's right. And we say a prayer for this country. Mm -hmm. we, we say and pray for our military personnel, oh, my God. our Marines, and pray for everybody in New the Orleans. World. And, yeah, and anybody that's experiencing these fires, you all. Yeah. I just, we, that's a whole nother, yeah. that's a whole another conversation but see how do you expect something good to come to you when you did it all wrong mm -mm. well we're gonna have to make some things right up in through here on. listen what a great great podcast uh-huh don't forget to subscribe to this podcast yes so each time we drop a new episode you will receive notification and don't forget about our book uprising who the hell said you can't ditch and switch the Awakening of Diamond and Silk. You can get the book at diamondandsilkbookstore.com. And don't forget to check us out over there at Chatted, C-H-A-T-D-I-T.com. And don't forget to give us a review. And a five-star will do. Hey, we was just coming to give y'all the 211. We call it the 211 because it's two of us. And we're the ones giving it to you. So in the meantime and in between time, we will see you all next time. Right here on Diamond and Silk the podcast. Bye-bye. Today's podcast is being sponsored by GreatDangTees.com, dedicated to everyone who wants to let the world know about their family member, their Great Dane. Now, here's what they offer. Uh -huh. They offer tees, sweatshirts, and border jackets, dress shirts, even shoes and toys for your Great Dane. Mm -hmm. They even have a non-Great Dane section for your other canine family members so they won't feel left out. And don't forget, GreatDaneTees.com chooses one nonprofit Great Dane group a month for a fundraiser. Visit their website homepage to see which group has been chosen this month. They also support several Great Dane rescues where they offer various rescue branded clothing. Any purchases made from the For the Rescue section, they donate 20% of your purchases back to the rescue. They have donated over $15,000 since April of 2020. So don't forget to check out their monthly special posted on their homepage. Go to GreatDaneTees.com and buy two unisex tees. Enter code DS21 uh -huh. and receive one of these tees for free. That's right. That's GreatDaneTees.com. Today's podcast is being sponsored by Footsteps in the Past. An American-based business where everything is made in America. Footsteps in the past. Your custom creations mm -hmm. from marriage proposals that you can cherish forever. To lost loved ones messages from old personal letters. So be sure to head over there to footstepsinthepast.com. And receive up to 15% off your entire order by using code DS21. That's footstepsinthepast.com. Today's podcast is being brought to you by Hip Lily. Your journey more joyful. Helping women in menopause find harmony and balance again naturally. So be sure to visit their website, hiplily.com. And when you visit their website, don't forget to use code DS21 to get 25% off your entire purchase. That's HempLily.com.
Hey y'all, hey. have y'all heard of Cat Remedies? Have you? Well, well they provide CBD uh -huh. for your pets. Better known as fur babies. And guess what? What? All of their products are manufactured right here in the USA. That's right. Some of the products that they offer mm -hmm. is CBD dog treats, uh -huh. CBD dog salve, uh -huh. and even CBD dog shampoo. That's right. And another thing, you can save more when you purchase the pet bundle. So make sure you go check them out. CatRemedies.com. That's CatRemedies.com. And get 20% off of any orders over $50 when you use code DS21. So head over there to CatRemedies.com. That's CatRemedies.com. Hey y'all, hey. it's Diamond and Silver. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. We still have a patriot out there fighting for the integrity of the 2020 election. Uh -huh. So we must support him. That's right. Now that's Mike Lindell. Mm -hmm. So I want you to head over there to mypillow.com, purchase anything on the site, mm -hmm. and make sure you use code DS21. That's code DS21. Go to mypillow.com. And when you use code DS21, you can save up to 66%. Make your purchase now at MyPillow.com or call toll-free 1-800-667-2756. That's 1-800-667-2756. And save up to 66%. Silk, it sound like you save a lot. So head over there to MyPillow.com.